Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out a very interesting city builder indeed. This is Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles. This is a very interesting city builder. Uh, let's dive on in and see what we have got. So, um, thank you very much uh, for that little introduction there. Anyway, uh, we're going to be playing on the campaign. Not necessarily because the campaign is the best way to play. I think it is, but also because it just demonstrates all of the different features that this game has to offer. Now, we're going to be jumping into uh, a scenario. We're going to be playing as the Imperium Faction, which uh, I think maybe is the coolest. Uh, the Imperium starts in this specific location. None of this really matters. All that matters is that we're going to jump into things. We're going to deal with a short cutscene, which actually really sets the sort of scene uh, for the game uh, quite nicely. And then I'm actually going to jump into to playing. And their hold over the people of the Ursine. A war to find and open a gate to new worlds. A war that destroyed more than we could ever have imagined. For us. Our fellows are gone. The gate now destroyed. No escape. We are the remnant, but we may rebuild as something new and righteous, and perhaps one day redeem ourselves. Okay. So yeah, we're playing as the Imperium. There's a couple of other different sort of clans that are uh, that are kind of cool. I think the Imperium, this sort of idea of a sort of, you know, like forgotten empire sort of thing uh, is kind of nice to chat about. Anyway, this is the world that we are in and uh, oh, what an interesting world it actually is. Now, uh, we have initially anyway, control of this uh, vehicle. This is a surveyor. Um, we will not have control of this for long, or, well, we will, but we're going to be putting down some roots here, and we're going to be starting a settlement. The first and only sort of order of the day uh, for this specific uh, aircraft thing that we've got here is to place down a settlement. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get it up here. Uh, we can build ourselves an outpost, Excellent. and I am going to do that. Thank you very much. So, um, we can sort of swap between the surveyor and the outpost now, uh, but this is basically going to be where we build up our city. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a little bit sort of constrained here, but that's not necessarily uh, too bad. Okay, a couple of uh, things that we sort of need to point out uh, immediately. The game, the way that this game works is is very, very fluid. Um, it really, really is. So, we can just sort of like build... Uh, walkways and pathways to pretty much anywhere and in fact uh, we're going to be doing that although what I need to do first uh, thank you there we go you don't need to keep telling me um, I need to put down a wood mill there thank you thank you thank you video game I really I don't need to know anyway um, the point is is that we can build walkways and pathways between all of the sort of different buildings that we are able to build in the world so we got a wood mill over here which is uh, which is fine and look at that we can build a walkway between the two uh, between the two different places here between the wood mill and the outpost now uh, the way that sort of population and workers work we are this one right here by the way this little star symbol the Imperium uh, we can actually like give ourselves more population by building additional walkways and sort of expanding uh, expanding the place that people are able to build houses. So, uh, in fact, people will just build houses like anywhere along the sort of pathways that we end up uh, that we were uh, that we end up building for them. So, look, we can connect a pathway into the uh, into the wood mill, which uh, is kind of nice. We can do that. Uh, we got a little output down in the bottom left hand corner with a little overlay of workers, wood, stone, and iron. Those are the sort of major resources. In fact, they're the only resources uh, that you can get. Uh, ooh, it's it's a little, uh, it's a little grumpy. It's a little grumpy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's basically, that's basically the basics. There is a little bit more to it. Uh, we are going to get to that. Uh, but for now, I think let's, let's go here and then can we get up to the top here? We can get up to the top there. That's perfect. And if I come back to here and then into here, then that will expand the capacity of our wood mill, I hope. There we go, and we can't build over the fungi there, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. We can always sort of build around if indeed we need to. Either way, this is looking and feeling pretty darned nice. Uh, I like the way that 
that this all looks. Anyway, uh, what is next? Well, I'll tell you what's next. Uh, what's next is that we need to see if we can try and find some additional resources. It's all very good and well if we've just got wood. Um, by the way, there's this big sort of fungi thing here that gives the, the wood production facility the wood that it needs to survive. I don't really understand the mechanics of it, but suffice to say... If we have one wood mill next to it, it is entirely it is entirely consumed. So we need to find another source of uh, of wood if we want additional wood for whatever reason. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go for a little explore now. There is a very 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 big sort of world map here, which is kind of fantastic. I kind of love it. I think it's uh, I think it's kind of amazing. Uh, looks looks really really nice. Uh, I am not going to focus too much on that right now because what I need to do is I want to see if I can try and find some stone. Stone is the most important resource, so we're going to have a little a little hunt around see what we've got going on. Okay, no sign of stone. But I'm sure there will be some stone. In fact, actually I can check on the map. Yeah, I can check on the map. There is stone like literally just down there. If um if I direct myself over this away, then we should be able to find ourselves some stone. Yeah, so very, very sort of striking, really, really unique map. Is that stone over there? There's this big hole in the world. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think the stone is right over here. Yeah, so this is, this is, this is stone. This is what we're after. Uh, so this is called the Maw. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, this is called the Maw, and it is a big sort of part of the world where just water looks really, really funky. I don't really understand how that works. Anyway, uh, the point is, is that we built the quarry right over, uh, right over yonder, which is fantastic. Now, what we need to do in order to get the stone back to the base is we need to build a harbor. Now, look at this. Excellent. Look at how cool this looks. Look at how unbelievably cool this looks. Anyway, uh, we got a harbor here. Uh, Captain Salad Tree. There we go. Uh, so I'll explain how sort of um, trade works in just a second. But suffice to say is that every time we build uh, a little outpost thing like this, uh, we need to build a harbor in order to enable trade. And uh, we have to assign a captain to undertake the specific trade route that we, uh, that we want. Now, you will only take iron uh, and workers, so that's fine. Um, so we're going to leave you assigned there. We need to build uh, harbors in pairs. So we're going to go back over to here, and we are going to place down a location for a second harbor. Perfect. And in fact, you could just see the line that the, uh, or the route that the, um, brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, we can see that the route that our uh, that our goods are gonna that are gonna that our goods are gonna take. And in fact, if I swap back into uh, the base here, we should be able to see. It's not actually updated yet, but the point is is that it will. Now, stone and specifically adding stone to the base is gonna allow us to do a lot of very very interesting things. We're gonna explore what stone means for us in just a sec. Uh, but for now, I'd like to go and I'd like to go and see if I can try and nab a little bit of iron over here, actually. There we go. Let's um let's immediately let's immediately head all the way over to here. And that'll be really, really nice. Okay, where is it? There is iron in the maw. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Okay. And will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. Can I build a... Uh... How the heck do I build a... I need to build a harbor somewhere here. Looks to be quite tight. This is too close to something else. Too close to what, though? Presumably the edge of, like, nothingness. Um, can I do it at the other side, then? I don't even know where we're going to be able to build... Where we're going to be able to build a harbor. Yeah, that's... That's really... That's really quite tight. You have no available resource extractor. Yeah, hold on. Um, let me, uh, let me just this demolish this. Extractor. Is missing access. I know it's missing access to workers. I'm gonna do my very best. Okay, 
Pass back to here. Build that right over there. Build it right on the edge. And then build the harbor... ...somewhat... ...closer? There we go. Perfect. Okay, we managed. Let's... You, okay, we've assigned the wrong... We've assigned the wrong worker. Okay, don't worry about that. We'll worry about you in just a second. Also, there's a boat over there. Uh, I've assigned the iron worker to the stone route. We're going to go and fix that. But let's go and get this harbor situation fixed. Uh, let's make it come in over there. Perfect. Okay. Right, we're connected up, which is... Which is perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's head back to this harbor over here. There we go. And I think... Stone and workers only. Right. Perfect. You're on the right route now. That's great. Uh, there's a little ship over here. What the heck is going on here? Greetings. I can Ooh. I'm on, I can Greetings. I'm on Interesting. From House Mercius, so. A steady for a route here. Okay. Steady. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, gain a transport vessel. Uh, stone workers increases Imperium alignment if placed. Sure. We'll do that. And I will happily do that. Right. Let's go and, let's go and fix up this trade route over here and see what we've got going on. Uh, there we go. Beautiful, excellent. Okay, we're now looking. We're now looking officially good, as far as I'm concerned. This is all excellent. Let's see if we can try and nip back to the base and actually start city building, as opposed to just sort of setting up trade networks and whatnot. Which is, you know, don't get me wrong, very, very cool, very, very important. Uh, but I want to improve my. I want to improve my city. Right. Let's get out of. Let's get out of here and see what we've got going on. Okay. So there's a lot of resources. None of these buildings are particularly impressive, though, because what we can do is now that we have access to stone and now that we've got access to iron, we can actually look to upgrade our buildings. So we, this is our outpost right here. Uh, we can upgrade our outpost. Uh, this is going to allow us to get... Iron available for this, upgrade. this is going to allow us to turn it into the top level outpost. We can't actually do it yet because the iron hasn't yet arrived, but it will. Don't worry. Uh, for now, let's see if we can maybe try and build... A little route along here. And right up to here. Um, so if we just build to like the middle of nowhere, uh, we will create towers. And towers we can upgrade into... Look at that. Look at that. That's stone, by the way. That used uh, that used stone. Uh, towers we can upgrade into no iron, okay. weird and wacky uh, structures uh, called command towers. Which, again, I'm going to do as soon as we have iron available. That's uh, not necessarily the end of the world. I suppose. Yeah, we just need our iron. We need our iron. It's it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. That's good. Also, there's a lot of stuff in the world that I'd like to explore. A lot of stuff in the world that I'd like to explore. Can I maybe get? Okay, I got another person on the stone route. That's um, that'd be kind of good. I don't think that I can expand. I don't think I can expand anything at this end. This is sort of the stone quarry is what it is, and it just sort of has to deal with the levels of stone that it produces, at least for now. That's fine. We've got iron in. Hurrah. Okay, let's go and move across to here. Uh, and let's see if we can try and get this. No iron available for this upgrade. It should, although it looks like iron it can only move uh, a specific distance. And unfortunately, the distance that we can that we can go is just not far enough. So uh, you can actually see these other little like lines that shows how far things can uh, move around. Um, let's we're a, we're a large outpost at the moment. Let's get this upgraded. We Beautiful. We have now got a Aligning citadel, which is fantastic. This will attract new imperial captains and commanders to our banner. Indeed. 
Indeed it will. This is fantastic. So this is the highest level of outpost that we can actually get. Uh, and from here, it's just a case of trying to upgrade all of our facilities. And we can do that through a variety of ways. I just, I love the way that the that this game that this game enables doing this. So we can build, uh, I think these are called foundations right now. We can sort of build these fantastic structures just sort of out from our outpost here. There's sort of no cost involved. It's just... It's just how it happens. And all of these, all of these sort of structures are connected to the, they're connected to the citadel that I have built on the top of this hill. It's really funky. I, I really dig it, to be honest. I think it's, I think it's a really cool way of doing things. Look at that. Okay. We're actually increasing the number of workers that we've got. Really, really decent number of workers here. Look at how good this, look at how good this looks. Well, apart from that one, that that was a bit of a funky overlay. Uh, but the point is, I feel like we've created, we've created quite the sort of, we've created quite the structure in the middle here. This is, uh, this is quite something. Uh, right. Let's see if we can try and get, see if we can try and get a, another tower. Right. So build a tower right over here. Now, interestingly, actually, you'll note that because uh, I have access to stone over here, and in fact, let's connect up to the harbor. Let's do that. Um, so that's going to do a couple of different things for us. Because we've got access to stone here, and because I built from the citadel to, like, the middle of nowhere, uh, we, were, we were able to build stone. And if I right-click here again, uh, that didn't work, but... That's fine. As long as we have stone, we should be, be able to upgrade walkways into... Uh, we should be able to upgrade walkways into uh, into stone walkways, which is pretty cool. Oh, no, i tell you what we need to do. We need to upgrade this tower into stone, and then we need to right-click there, and now we should have a stone walkway. How cool is that? Anyway, uh, that's really, really nice. Uh, this is the tower that we've got at the present moment, which is nice and all, but we can get this we can get this more uh, more upgraded and more pogged up so to speak. So, we upgraded another couple of times. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, this consumes workers the higher we go. Uh, but we have now uh, we have now got what is referred to as a command tower. Uh, and what we can do is we can actually that's okay. Don't worry. We will. We will have commanders soon. Uh, we can equip. Uh, we can equip commanders to here, and these are sort of like defensive structures that will defend us against against raids. We can build. Uh, these are called balconies, I think, and we can have a sort of defensive structure that is. Look at this. We can build additional stuff. I mean, it's pretty flippin' cool to be honest. This looks, this looks amazing. Look at, just look at how, look at how cool this looks. Like, that, that is what we have built. And, uh, you know, basically the sort of theme of this game is like, you can just build, build, build what you want. There's no sort of penalty for building. The only sort of thing that you need to, to, to sort out is your logistics network. And you know what? I really like that. Uh, if you sort out lo your logistics network, then you'll be pretty much fine. Ooh, that is a... That's a rough sea, I gotta be honest. Anyway, my um, my ships are doing a grand old, are doing a grand old job. Uh, Transport-wise, resource-wise, things are looking pretty good. Uh, what I would like to do, actually, is I would like to get... I would like to get... Uh, can I get some of these walkways upgraded? I don't think I can do... I don't think I can do that walkway unless... I don't think I can upgrade the walkways unless we have towers specifically that are... That are here. I don't necessarily need everything to become a command tower. There we go. But I do need... I do need everything to become stone walkways. I say I need things to become stone walkways. I don't need them to become stone walkways. I would like them to become stone walkways. On top of the sea tree fungi. I'm not you trying to build on this. To wood. I'm not trying to build on top of the sea tree fungi. I'm just trying to. You cannot build on top of the sea tree fungi. These are needed to produce wood. 
Okay, I can't seem to upgrade that specific uh, route. But I did just do that, so there we go. Either way, my population is kind of monstrous right now. So really, really loving that. Uh, I can't really go any deeper. I can build sort of like additional... Additional sort of foundations out here. Which I might actually do. There we go. Maybe loop it back around. Goodness gracious me. We have such a complicated sort of setup now. We have such a complicated setup. But I need I do need more space. I need more space for people. There we go. Okay. I think that's just about as deep as we can go, realistically. This is also pretty... Yeah, this also feels like... Yeah. Feels like we're pretty much... Feels like we're pretty much at the limit of what we can sort of squeeze into this area. Um, but the point is... This is looking pretty darn cool. Okay, so we've not faced any uh, enemy incursions quite yet. I think we're going to go on a little bit of an adventure here. Now, let's go Let's go over there. Uh, we'll go and see what we have got going on. Uh, but basically, there is a huge sort of like big wide world. Um, if we have a little look uh, in our inventory, mechanics unlock new surveyor classes that you can choose to be your main surveyor. Um, that's kind of cool. I, I love the idea of doing that. Uh, in Surveyor Hold, we don't have any wood mills, don't have any stone mills, don't have any, uh, don't have any extractors. That's fine. Uh, there's also a soul tree. Uh, this is sort of the different factions and the different populations. As you can see, this is, this is my, uh, this is my people that we have on a trade route at the moment. Uh, I have got one citadel. I've got zero outposts. I have got one captain active at the moment. Zero commanders active. And we've got a faction population of 770, uh, 76. I don't even know what the objective is. Uh, necessarily for this. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me go and let me go and see what you want. I'm always, I'm always looking for. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. Congratulations. To Ooh. I will. Don't worry. I will. And in fact, I'll probably assign them to my existing route. If uh, if you can do iron, right. So there are these little outposts that are around. Okay. Uh, outpost to salvage and relocate fresh combat forces uh, increases bannerless alignment if placed. Okay, or if we decline, we will undertake hostilities. Sure, I will. I will have. Um, I will have some further forces. So this is a bannerless citadel. Uh, and hold on, can I? Yeah, I can jump into here. I don't think I can actually build anything, can I? There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Although, if I could, you're telling me if I could get access to wood, then we might be uh, we might be rolling. Although I don't think we do. Anyway, let's go and let's go and see what this shard thing is over here, shall we? Uh, also, I have got uh, I've got an extra follower, which is uh, which is quite nice. Alignment wise, look at this. We can see we can see where we are on the alignment. Excellent, thank you. Uh, we can see where we are on the alignment map. Ooh. Lot of stuff happening here. What's going on? This is the entryway to Oberon's gate itself. Ooh. The historic last stand of House Borgia when they opened it to the stars. The gate may now lie wrecked, but the Shard remembers. We remember the way this world existed before. Okay. Exist again. Okay. Right. Um, I think you're yeah, you're uh you're you're a goodie in the sense that um we can uh, we can align. I uh, I need to get more aligned in order to in order to get uh, in order to get sorted. We could declare war on you, although I don't particularly want to do that. There's an anomaly in the distance, let's investigate. Let's go over here. Let's go over here and see what we've got going on. Okay, crossing the mall, which I think just looks so visually stunning, doesn't it? Okay, this does not look like something that I want to see, honestly. What's more valuable than all 
What's, what's more valuable than a warm heart in these good times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator. Okay, businesses appear. Sure. Is that it? What what actually what actually happened there? I'm not I'm not quite sure. Uh, right. What else do we want to check out? What else do we want to check out? I don't think there's a ship over there. We know what that is. I think I, yeah. I think I just want to. I think I just want to expand my population a little bit more. Let's uh, let's maybe like loop around and see what else we've got going on. I don't think I have any other extractors on board, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. Which means that I can't expand my operation any further. It looks like that's the mining facility over there. Very, very nice. Yeah, I, I, as I'm sure you'll agree, this is a very, a very unique city builder. Like, a really, really, really unique city builder. Right, let's see what you've got to, let's see what you've got to say for yourself. Ooh. Okay, um, just a minor wood harvesting operation after all. very, very nice. Invite you settlement to join. You have taken on many imperial remnant refugees and, we... and also there's a trade situation as well, which is, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, let's invite, invite to join settlement. There we go. That's, that's what we like to see. So if I build a harbor, like right here, beautiful. This isn't the best use. My ship carries... There's no wood here. This ship will haul anything and everything. Okay. I think just the two of you is fine. Uh, but let's go back to the base and let's see if we can try and get this all sorted. Okay. We'll yoink our woods. Something is ahead. Stay alert. That's okay. Don't worry. Okay, that's good. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods. Beautiful. Okay, I mean, wood-wise, we're fine. Prosperity is attracting criminals wishing to target our trade route. Yes. We need to start taking our trade route security seriously. Tra we do need to start taking our security uh, trade route seriously. Let's um let's head over here. Actually, it looks like we've got enough iron to to make it all the way out here. I, I think I must have changed the route somehow. Um, but the point is, is that we can actually upgrade this into a proper there we go, into a proper command tower. Uh, and in fact, if we want to get let's build some additional build some additional outcroppings here. I must say, this doesn't look particularly impressive. But I guess, you know, it is what it is. There we go. That's too steep to build. Don't worry about it. Fantastic. Now we're talking. Okay, up, 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 up to the top. Excellent. Free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. Beautiful. I'm going to keep going. Holy cow. This is a this is a tower. This is a tower. Okay. Uh yeah, we need to be very very careful that we don't run out of workers here. That is somewhat of a problem. But the good news is, is that everything is looking up for us. Everything is looking up. There's a few different things sort of happening on the horizon. Let's go and have a little look at this. It's very possible that I command the last company. Yep. I will take fresh combat forces. We love fresh combat forces. Let's go and check out what you want. We've not really, we've not suffered any attacks yet, which is kind of nice. Bannerless alignment. Um, let's not let's not take that. Let's not take that on board right now. Um, right. So we've got we've got you working for us, which is really really nice. Um, should I head up here and have a little look? Salad mount. Sure. Let's go and let's go and check out salad mount over here. We might as well. I don't 
think that I need to necessarily do anything else over there. That's completely fine. Uh, soul tree wise, this is looking this is looking fine. Four captains active. World map. Yep. Inventory. We have nothing. We have nothing here, and there's nothing that we can actually do to uh, to get upgrades, as far as I'm aware, at least at the moment. Yeah, zero constructs. We don't have anything in the hold at the moment. Which is fine. Right. Nothing on the horizon for us. A resource colony ahead. One of the factions has become the dominant faction in your settlement. This has made other factions suspicious of your ambition. That's okay. If you choose to move further in this direction, you might find them becoming hostile. Indeed, I you might. Agree. Yeah, we got more. We agree. Glad to be part of something again. Iron for wood. We um, more wood than we would ever need. Or against us. We are at war. I'll just declare. What the heck? Let's uh, let's do it. I want to see how the war works. Nah, it's not looking overall too positive, is it? So the combat just kind of happens, I think. Whoa. Yeah, the combat just kind of happens like uh, like so. There's sort of nothing that I can do. I just sort of fly around, I think. Yeah, so where's my... Where's the... Uh... We are truly the only future for the Earth. Even if some might deny us progress. My trade route has been has been hampered. Have banded together. Get ready to repel their forces. Ah, uh, see, what I think I have done is I declared war on an Imperium uh, settlement when I am also an Imperium Alert. individual. Oh my goodness, there's flipping birds. Laser birds attacking me. What the heck? Okay, well, at least I can take out the laser birds. That's good news. <laughs> what is going on? I tell you, this city, this city builder has everything. Clear skies indeed. Okay, so yeah, this was the um, this was the settlement that presumably no longer likes me because I. I'll, t I'll take that. That's fine. Okay, that's additional workers. Uh, if I could be bothered to link things up. Yeah. So I don't know what happened to the what happened to this setup. I'm I don't think it was particularly positive. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, okay, no, apparently this, this village is still with me, uh, even though we are at war with the Imperium because I declared the, uh, because I declared war on salad mounts. Uh, maybe not one of the most intelligent things to do, but you know what, hey, uh, this is super funky. I really, really dig it. Uh, it's a great little, it's a great little, great little game. Um, yeah, check it out, ladies and gents, Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles, uh, linked down in the description below. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obata Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.